What's the craziest piece of content you have on OF, do you think? <laughs> Should we reenact it in person? Perfect. I'm like hitting that right there. That's perfect. Okay, so then I was like, and you oh. know what was the craziest thing ever? I think I got <laughs> drunk. No, I think I got, I literally think I got you yeah. would probably be I'm pretty sober. sure. I was, I was dead Are you familiar with the day June eighteenth? Right, that's the day that yeah. unfortunately XXX passed away. The last time I actually saw him was on my birthday. Wow. No way. I love a hot milf. <laughs> hey guys, we welcome always. back to Off the Air. I'm Ara. <laughs> I'm Raquel. And today we have the beautiful, the gorgeous, the viral singer, rapper, rapper, mu music artist. Oh my God. Former stripper, <laughs> current kiss or slapper, and the funniest girl on the internet. And if you ever need to me make music, she needs to be a part of it, obviously. Oh, oh my God, I'm going to hire you to be my hype woman everywhere that I go. <laughs> <laughs> and she really plays the guitar, like, real well. Thank you so much. Really Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Can you uh, serenade you us, <laughs> please? <laughs> Where's your guitar? We need one. <laughs> That's too funny. Thank you for having me, guys. I've been I've been wanting to come on here for a while. Oh my god, we've been dying to have you. First, you know. I know, I know. <laughs> you have so to save the best for last. It's fine. Uh, no. to go way back to when I showed up to her house to do a TikTok clap, and we made <laughs> the cringe videos <laughs> I have ever made today. today. Oh, it's so bad. It was really bad. It was like they were asking us. To teach them how to jump. Right. Jumping jacks. Jump, yep. It was a yep. jumping jack video. How was that cringy? It was what we were was doing that was we were <laughs> making it, was it cringy. Faces. It was how we were like running towards the camera. It was just every Every part of it. It was so cringy. It, and it's it was so bad. deep down in our, because we made so much TikTok. It's so deep. I can't find that for you guys. But maybe we We can. did do one um, at Coachella the other day. Oh, yeah. Can we watch that one real quick? We're gonna do a little reaction. Back. I saw that one. Me, 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 me. Hold my wheel. Ready? Twenty dollars, or you want? Yeah, yeah, you want to spend it. We don't even have to ask. I want to spend it. Uh, I remember the. Ding wheel. dong, ditch the neighbors. Let's go. What does that mean? Come on. What does that mean? The neighbors. Right now? <laughs> They're really. They got bread. They got bread, bro. Are you ready? <laughs> they had a lamb. Oh shit. The guy comes out, it's like an old man. He's like, you guys want to come in for a barbecue? We're like, yeah. Only fans. No, she was just talking about that earlier, shockingly, actually. How she just met this random stranger doing a kiss or slap, and they're like a huge person in the social media industry. So put yourself out there, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I've met a lot of random people doing kiss or slaps. I've done one before with somebody, and after we did it, they were like, by the way, I know you. And I was like, no way. And like, they did know me through like a very close mutual person. And wow. I was like, oh, f I haven't met before. I feel like at oh, this geez. point, you are the kiss or slap girl. Yeah. yeah I definitely am not going to say Wait, that I started that. Baby? Though. Yeah. What? When was this? That was like, like a month ago. Oh my God. Five, four. We, went, we went for kiss. Well, she, she said kiss. I was she, like, okay. She attacked you with her lips. <laughs> she said, like, kiss me. <laughs> You're kiss like, mommy. <laughs> there. <laughs> How do you feel no. about like if you're gonna kiss somebody for the first time if they throw time in there? Like, is that a no? On a kiss or slap video, yeah. or just in general? No, on a kiss or slap. <laughs> no, what? They're gonna How end up going it? in for a kiss and getting slapped. Is what will happen. <laughs> okay. I, what, what, about, what if it's not for a video? On the first kiss, um, you know, like. Like, if it's, like, a like it starts slow, but, like, if you immediately go in with tongue. I mean, I don't know. How long That's is that? Like how type of thing. Nah, we got to have a first kiss. For, like, a little, like, something, like, a little bit more, like, I mean, I don't know. I'm not, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to back up, and I'm going to say maybe one day I'll meet somebody that I'll just be, like. I really want to make out with I, you. I've met somebody that's happened that fast, though. I actually, I used to be, like, a make-out thought. Oh, so you would do that. I would go to the bar. I would just make out with everybody. Okay, so let's go out tonight. Well, no, we've already kissed. You already popped my cherry, yeah. so never mind. No. But I would literally make out with so many guys, and then I was a virgin at the time, but I would still bring him back just to cuddle. 
And then he'd be like turned over. I'm like, which guy was this? Out of all the makeouts, which one was this one? And then he'd be like a whole different guy that I have no memory of. Oh my god! No, okay. yeah, thank, you. thank you for sharing. I want to react. Yeah, I want to react to some of Christina's like most viral videos. Are you down? Of course. I've probably seen most of them, if not every single one. My personal favorite so. was you and Meg on Halloween, oh, Mario. Ma- Mario, and yeah. you used it so one. perfectly when the movie came out. It was so that, good. That's actually crazy because we didn't, I don't think I even knew there was going to be a Mario movie. It was just random, like, because maybe six months before that, she was like, I'm going to be Princess Peach for Halloween. And then Halloween was approaching, and she was like, yo, why don't you just do Mario? Because I, I couldn't think of yeah. it. I was like, all right. <laughs> like, <laughs> no brainer. It's a good costume, too. <laughs> exactly. It was yeah. like, okay. Yeah. This one got 20 million videos. I've seen this one pop up on my free page so many times. Oh, the old man. Oh, my God. Wait, why can't I hear it? Did they did, remove the did sound? Did they take my sound off? <gasps> Damn, okay. TikTok did you dirty. Did Let you me see if it's on my time. phone. Wait, or is my phone, like, connected to something? Girl, let's use the sounds there. <laughs> okay, let's watch it on yours because I don't know. My phone's doing something weird. <laughs> Kiss or slap? Okay, slap. Huh? Kiss or slap? Kiss or slap? Yeah. What do you mean? You pick one and you do it to me. Huh? You pick one and that's what you do to me. Either I kiss you or I slap you? Yeah. But where do I kiss you? You pick. <laughs> where do I kiss you? He said. Wait, I'm sending this to myself so I don't lose it. <laughs> where are you from? I live here. Yeah. Where? I'm in Miami. I do. He's like really trying. I know. I felt bad. Okay. I never like saw him again after that. But like, the crazy okay. thing is that his granddaughter. Alright, sounds good. Kiss or slap? No. And duetted it. And, like, <laughs> I know that it's real because like everybody kept telling me what the dude's name was because apparently he's like he's like some sort of like Miami like local legend I don't know really yeah Yeah. and like everybody was like telling me his name and then the girl that made the duet like had the same name and I was like oh shit I was like it really is the granddaughter and she like what did she say in the duet it was like oh it was it was basically just like wait can we watch the duet I don't know if I could find it that quickly. Uh, I'll, TikTok, we need better. I'll just, I'll just keep, <laughs> I'll just keep scrolling. Eventually, it'll come up. But. Wait, what, did she like like it or she, was she hating it? Oh no, she was like, she. It was like, it was. It showed a clip of me with her grandfather, and then it was a clip of her like this. Christina, Mike the inside the mic. Yeah, mic oh. in your mouth. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, bring it closer. <laughs> so it was a clip of me, and her grandfather and then it cut away to her like this <laughs> damn she was really traumatized was like, i forget what the caption was but it was definitely like when you find this video of your grandfather online and it was like with like maybe like the crying face or something i was like oh, oh <laughs> like but she, she also she thought like, like, she also thought it was funny to do it yeah, yeah. <laughs> no <laughs> no you know what yeah. you know what if you I've, thought it was that serious you wouldn't do it if he's trying to pick up a girl on the beach at that age, then this shouldn't be a shock that he's like <laughs> out here picking up women. Fair. I mean, he was pretty good looking for his for his age. The man yeah. had riz. He the had riz. And he, he was like, before I kiss you, I need to get to know you. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> if more men he's a real like quiet that, gentleman. I feel like women would be a lot more happy with the men. Yeah, <laughs> like, girl, is your like, uh, grandfather single? Because I'm looking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he gentleman. got money, too. You know, I saw him because... <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was sitting on the beach and I was like all of a sudden I saw like a guy go like this and then they came up with a golf cart and like got all of his shit. like he had a nice cabana type thing I was like where was this on South Beach there's cabanas on South Beach for him there were they had that shit there like are. set up nice and I was like I need to do a kiss or slap yeah, video right now and I for ran sure. over excuse me is this your son I'd like to submit an application to be your daughter-in-law. <laughs> that was great. Yeah, that was you got rid, girl. You know what's crazy about it though is, you know why it went viral? Look at look at his leg. Watch it one Excuse more time. Excuse me, is this your son? <laughs> I'd like to submit an application. To when be your I say leg, I mean his third leg. <laughs> I was looking at his. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! I have to watch it again. He's Packy. Yeah. Excuse me, is this your He's son? Packy. No, that's not real. I'd like real. to submit. Bro, that's not yes. real. Look, what is it? 
A cucumber in his pocket? That's his <laughs> No, I know, but that, there's no way. That's his <laughs> No way. <laughs> She's like, I've never seen but what if it was just like a, a bottle of water? No, he was just he, thinking. He's hard. Be hard. <laughs> well, if it's a bottle Why of water, then hard? you're Walking welcome because this went viral, and I'm sure you are picking up the ladies now. Maybe it's it's so big that it's just like that. <laughs> I'm soft. <sighs> look at him. Look at him giving you the ads, dude. I know. He was a handsome guy. He he also looked like um, uh, Aaron Rodgers a little bit. And did you see this? He like. Looks like The mom and dad, I, I feel like, I mean, I don't know this man from Adam, but like the reaction feels like, you know, they yeah. want him gone. <laughs> she was like, my son, you, of course, I'm here. She's like, ah, <laughs> oh, by the way. I don't, I don't know if I missed this because I got excited through everything. So sometimes I don't hear things, but did, did you notice that? Pre no. recording or after I was, I was recording. A, I was on a hike and I was like, I was jogging down the like the trail after you get done the hike. Yeah. And I just saw this family and I was like, these are clearly the parents with their son. And I just I'm, that was the first time I've ever done any video like that. Like I mean, I've said sh on, on just for fun. Like yeah. Almost all these videos is stuff that I've done off camera just to have a good time and just interact and like have a good time with people. And so this was the first time I ever did on camera, and I was like, you know what? This looks like a family that's going to have a good like time fate. with me. What you do is actually so hard, because I've tried going down South Beach and like just <laughs> coming up somebody and doing something, and it's so scary, because you're like, ah, what are they going to say? What are they going to do? Ah, I need to run away right now. <laughs> it is intimidating, but like honestly, when you kind of take the time to like think about like either like Either it's going to be like a bad, like a really good bad reaction that's going to give you a little bit of adrenaline, or you pick like people that are going to have a really good time with you, and then it becomes like encouraging to like because if people are having fun and you're having fun and the videos are going viral, then why not? Has someone been like, no, <laughs> I've seen your videos. Before. I've de oh yeah yeah. You got that before for sure. And then I've also had people do the video and be like, you need to delete that right now. <laughs> of course, you yeah. I, you know what I what I did do <laughs> the one time it was really really good. I covered their face and changed the voice. I was like, <laughs> I have to have this conversation at least. It was just too crazy. I was like, but there, I won't like do them dirty. Like, yeah. there's no way you could tell who they were. Okay, this one I I think I've seen this one. Make me laugh, part one. Hey, if you can make me laugh, I'll let you take me home tonight. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> so funny. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> that was a random person that, I, I, that was the first time that I ever did a video like that too I was on the beach with friends and I just saw two guys walking by and this was before I was even doing kisser slap and I you didn't always do kisser slap sometimes no, you said other things no and this was the first one that I did interacting like that at all and I just saw this guy with his friend and I was like you know what like this guy's like adorable and I feel like I could get a really good video with him. And I was just like, I didn't even know what I was going to say. As I approached, I was like, it was the first thing that came to my mind. And I just said it. And it just, oh, it was good. That mind. Yeah. Oh, man, it was, it worked out better than expected. Like, I didn't, I didn't even foresee that one going that viral. But after that, I was like, all right, I'm going to just yeah, have 20 million. Woo -woo. So where did you guys meet? We met at the strip club. <laughs> we did. We met a customer, club. and I can't. I think I gave her a little lap dance, and she yeah. gave me some money. <laughs> yeah. The first time, the first time I brought you up, she was like, "Funny story, how I met Christina." I was like, "Oh my god, that's so wild!" Because <laughs> I met you towards the end of your stripping career. You know what's crazy is she told me that night she was like, "Girl, you need to get on OnlyFans," and I'm like, "Did I really? Fuck! I don't know what it is <laughs> Why didn't strippers? I listen to you? I don't know what it is about strippers." They don't I hate OnlyFans. It, it's it's like the idea of like you know I have this little life in private versus I have this life on the internet. Mm, and it right. Was like coming to terms with that, and then quarantine hit, and I was like, well, there's no stripping. <laughs> the clubs are closed. <laughs> I think that's what you actually told me. You didn't want to do it because you didn't want like exactly what you're saying. You didn't want the world to like. You I wanted just, to air it out. I, I was too like shy and I also didn't have like a, a following at the time that was before I was on TikTok I only had maybe like when I met like you you had like thousand followers yeah. when I met you you had like you 20 met? or something yeah when I met you like, yeah, maybe something. like 20 30 yeah yeah, yeah I started following yeah. you I think you had like five six thousand like you're right 
Yeah, I, I was, I didn't have. Did, any. was someone like involved in your decision or was that all you? Like you went in for it? You know what? I, I had a friend that I was, a very close friend of mine, Jimmy Levy, and we were both totally on different paths at the time. So it's crazy thinking back to this period, but it was right before quarantine hit. He was like, yo, get on TikTok. Like I did a video with you. I want to tag you or something like that. And I was like, fine. So I just made the TikTok and I never touched it or anything. And then um, quarantine, when that happened, it was, we were bored in the house. And mm. I posted a video of me on T.I.'s trampoline um, back when we were working on his studio, my, my partner and I in, in the construction company. And it broke. I was like, ta- I, was the on that, broke. I was on that shit. <laughs> the craziest part is this. I was on the trampoline every single day. Like I'd get up on it and I would like do it as exercise, damn near as cardio. Mm-hmm. And then my friend one day was like, oh my God, I should get a video of you on it. You look cute. So she takes out the phone and she's getting a video of me. And I went straight through the thing. Broke it. What a great moment, too, though. <laughs> on camera. I know. It is, usually it's every single thing that happens crazy. to me, it's never on camera. <laughs> so thank you. you God was like, off? you're meant for this. <laughs> and that was years before TikTok and years before the person that told me to even get on TikTok. And I just realized that that is the, the guy, Jimmy, also, when we were at a party one time, his son was there, told him that I was the one that broke his trampoline. <laughs> I was like, thanks, bro. <laughs> You're like, well, I can pay for it. We might no, I did. I had to buy the new one, which was crazy because I was like, it was dry rotted. But I think it was like 500 bucks. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're not expensive. Yeah. They're not cheap either. I mean, 500 bucks for like I don't think that's expensive. canvas on a metal thing is kind of a lot. I think that like outdoor activity, listen, I just, I just. No, oh, you Sony. cannot. Yeah, I just bought a Sony <laughs> camera for my vlogging. It's called the Sony vlogging camera. For you can go to Chinatown and get one for 20 bucks, too. So <laughs> <laughs> levels. The, the Sony vlogging camera is really good. Okay, where do you guys <laughs> shop? I just literally, I just started a garden. I was just telling Ara, to make a couple of herbs. Why do I keep hitting this? To make a couple of herbs and, like, to start gardening it, it cost me $100. I just feel like that's a lot for like a small little to grow it yourself garden. Yeah, you know what I mean. Because I want to start gardening. It's my new pla- like thing. But regardless, that's expensive. And I feel like that's, uh, that is a lot. Yeah, Everything's but that didn't like, really really you know, hitting. You never have to buy I feel it. like that didn't further yeah. solidify my statement prior with the trampoline. So I apologize. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going with that. I don't know where I'm going with that. I need another shot. <laughs> should we do shots? We should. Shots are brought to you by. Uh, P.S. Social in Miami. Thanks for hosting us for our episode. That's where we're recording this. If you guys need a uh, co-working space, check them out. Okay, Wait, you did it on camera. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Oh, shit. Drink, but I'll smoke a little ganja, too. Oh, yeah, same. Yeah. We love, we love the ganja. <laughs> Don't all day. Do you have any? Yeah. I forgot to bring some. We should smoke after the episode. For the remainder of the, the episode, I will be drinking out of the shot glass. <laughs> Perfect. We love that. I actually love that idea. I think I need to do the same. We'll no. find out. No. Wait, I want to know. I'm confused. Ask for the Christina and Ara bundle. <laughs> Subscribe and ask. <laughs> <laughs> not fair so her <laughs> just so you guys know her necklace is throat goat it does mm. are you a throat so that goat? further solidifies the christina and ara video just well throwing that out there i've never been told that i wasn't oh shit <laughs> no. do you involve the balls or not nah? I feel like if you're going in there, you might as well They're, right that's what i'm saying it's a part of the package you know? <laughs> would you like go down to the asshole or no, that's where you just draw the Well, like, head. you know, like, go that's down. That's how I feel. And then, <laughs> well, some girls are like, I'm going in there. I've and never I'm like, Sis. met a man that I felt was clean enough in my life, for starters. Mm. <laughs> or deserved it. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. You got to deserve that shit. Maybe a girl. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe a girl. I, mean, I almost. I won't rule it out, but I feel like a guy is like a, no. I, I licked very close. Very close. Can you guess? Which porn star's booty hole? Do I know her? 
Yes. You might have even been there somewhere, but off doing something else <laughs> with other people. Was it in Nevada? Yes. Was it... This is great. <laughs> Mia Malkova. Yes! <laughs> <Shut up! laughs> I did, in fact, have a very close encounter. Because I sucked a dildo she was holding the same day. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe you were sucking the dildo while I was back there. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like, I couldn't even tell you. Like, I don't... That whole night was a blur, and I've actually never even watched the video, but... That was a fucking good There's time. a lot going on <laughs> everywhere. Like, I, there was, all I remember was a human centipede of ass eating. Yes. That I, I, I pulled myself out on that one. I was like, I'm going to enjoy from the sidelines. Like, I was like, I'm just going to make out with somebody over here. That's like, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I kind of was chilling somewhere else on that one for a second. I'm dead. So oh. what's, the, what's the craziest piece of content you have on OF, do you think? The craziest. Um, I would have to say... There's a there's like two or three that I would toss it up between, but I think maybe the craziest was a video with a it was a couple and they were in, in doggy style and okay so like this is actually this is perfect so this is <laughs> this is this is the girl should we reenact it in person perfect. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. You can. Yeah, you, I, I mean, just felt like I was going to get out of everything. You might need to move the camera. I don't know. What we're I think I'm going to play the role of myself. Yeah. Wait. Okay. All right. So you can be the guy. I'm the guy. And then the bend girl. over. No. It, How many people have sex, bro? But, I so, do, doggy style. Doggy style, she said. All right. So. <laughs> I'm like hitting that right there. That's perfect. Okay, so then I was like, oh shit. <laughs> Step sister, or I don't remember what I said. So <laughs> bend over a little bit more. Bend over all the way. You got this face down ass up, baby. Okay. So then I came in like this. Oh shit. And got it. it was we were on a bed, so I was like, they, she was kneeled, and it was like this. And oh, I'm like, shit. you know, it was it was and you used her back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I, I wish I was a part of these. I, we can, we can, we can, we can do one. Well, oh, yeah, when yeah. Christina comes back from LA, well, you, you find, well, uh, you know, you find the guy okay. <laughs> or I'll find the guy. I don't know. Well, how about we all go together and find the guy? I'm in. If you want to be the guy, comment below. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Great. <laughs> Would you ever hook up with a fan? It depends on the fan. <laughs> <laughs> However, I feel like I feel like they would have to be a fan for me to even be interested, at least to an, a certain extent. But like, yeah, no, I, you know what? Yeah, they have to be a fan. Okay. Yeah, your significant other has to be a fan, be a fan of you. They have to be a fan. That's a great answer. Uh, but I guess more so like like an OnlyFans fan. Is that what you're asking? Are they a subscriber? Right. Yes. It depends. It depends. You know, okay. there's there's a couple on there. There's a couple on there that you know maybe. Oh, they know who they are. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, we have to talk about the Trump rally. I saw you go. Oh How my was that? God. Okay. So like, first of all, I don't have a political affiliation. I'm you know I. I went for the content. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, if, if I had, if I had to relate to any party the most, it'd be libertarian. I don't really, I, I don't, I don't want to get in the middle of anything. I'm mm. just kind of, I just want to live my life and enjoy it and Switzerland peace and love. That's all. And so I went to get some content, and you know what was the craziest thing ever, is, I think I got fucking drugged. No, <laughs> I think I got, I literally think I got drugged. And for, sober. Right. And I was talking to somebody that I was doing a kiss or slap video with. Mm. And he kept like getting kind of in my space a little bit and then wanted to like take photos of me and like show me to different people. It was almost like making it look like, you know, we were like there yeah. together. Yeah. And then out of nowhere, took a napkin out and put it on my face touched my face with a mm. napkin and I backed up. But like, there's something that I feel like women do 
where we almost don't want to like offend somebody. So I didn't yeah. want to like be like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? Like, so I kind of just backed up. I was like, <laughs> like, why are you the, like the uncomfortable laugh back up. Like this surely won't happen again. Like, he, I don't want to offend you for almost date raping me. No. Oh my God. How could I ever accuse you of that? Oh my God. I'm so sorry. But I just, you know, at the, still at the same time though, I didn't know what was going on. Right. And um, so I backed up and he does it one more time. And at that point, I'm like, don't touch me. Okay, I got to go. And so I run to go find my friend that I came with. And right as I left, he's FaceTiming me. And I'm like, oh, that's divine timing. I look up and we're both like running at each other. And I'm like, yo, I'm like, I, somebody put something on my face. And I feel like I'm not sober right now. I don't know what's going on. Like, and this was like maybe like 10 seconds after, I, like not even, like it was like pretty much right after I walked away. I was like, I, it's I, crazy I, how fast that something like crazy, that can crazy, happen. crazy right now. I was like, I don't know what's going on, and I, I'm gonna pass out. I'm gonna pass out, and then just dropped. No way. Like, thank no God, in front of your of friend. any of this, I don't even remember the last little bit before that. This is what he told me, and then I came back, and it was like 10, 20. He said 10, 10 to 20, 30 seconds. He doesn't really know because he was like in panic mode, trying like because I was out cold, right? And I woke back up. And I'm like looking around and there's people filming me with cameras and the guy that put the shit on my face is standing right above me no. with my friend there. And that guy, it kind of takes charge. He's like, here, let's get her over here, grabs me. And as I'm walking, takes the napkin out, puts it on. And I'm like backing up and I'm looking at my friend like, this is, this is the guy, this is the guy. Yeah. And he sits me down and... I'm like sitting there and I'm just like looking at my friend like this is like I didn't know what to do because I was like I don't know who this is I don't know what's going on like I'm freaked the fuck out I just woke up I was unconscious I can barely even sit up because I was like feeling like yo what the fuck like it was just it was bad and he comes back over to block me and I look at my friend and he goes and I go and so he goes yo I think somebody drugged her and the guy goes nobody drugged her you just met me how do you know? And why would you interject if somebody said that? That doesn't even make sense unless you're feeling some sort of way about something that went on. So he says that my friend goes, no, somebody drugged her. And the guy goes, nobody drugged her. And my friend goes, no, she got drugged. And the guy runs. And yeah. Wait, so did uh -huh. you keep the napkin? Like, did he I did, I did. I need to figure out how to get it tested. It's in a, in a baggie. Oh my God. Wait, so he dropped the napkin and he ran? Yeah. Well, he didn't like drop the napkin was already sitting down, but he like ran like like fast walked. Not like ran ran, but he like scurried yeah, away quickly. Sketchy. It's like you were just helping her now because all, you were you got drugged, now you're gonna All of a sudden it was gone. And I, like I'm looking at the situation like this, I feel like had I not like been like, yo, I gotta go, like I would have passed out in front of him, in front of people that were already associating us together. So it wouldn't have been crazy for him to be like, Oh, I'll take her. My girlfriend. Yeah, and, 100%. And good thing that you're 100% completely sober because imagine if it was a drunk girl that just had like five shots at the bar. Never, ever would have noticed. And they probably would have went down like almost immediately then. Because they probably react with alcohol faster. And when I came back, they said my face was purple. Wow. I've never passed out. Before. And you're a really healthy person. I've never I mean, having out. stayed in a, in a space with you for a couple of days, I watch your everyday normal tendencies you're pretty healthy exactly exactly my point yeah she's the healthiest person i know <laughs> same eats, like raw food yeah the rule is if if it's not edible it doesn't touch my skin and then what's considered edible to me is if it comes from the ground somehow like if it's if it's natural from the earth and if it's not i'm like I prefer not cooked, but I'll, I'll have a cheat meal here and there at a, at a vegan restaurant. But like, yeah, but yeah, I, I, I just That's crazy. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, <sighs> me too. Thank God your friend was with you. Imagine if you went solo. Yeah, well, that's a lesson. Don't ever go solo anywhere. Like, it sucks, but especially unfortunately, and I knew that it was gonna be something crazy too. Like, I, I purposefully put myself in in that setting because I knew wow. something crazy was going to happen. I didn't think it was going to get that crazy though. Right. <laughs> that was a little more than I bargained for. Yeah. Um, is this the guy that you were doing the kiss or slap to? Or I did a kiss or slap with this guy. And so you, you have, have a video, video of him. him. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to obviously say anything on a podcast, but I, I, you should just get your thing tested yeah. first. Yeah. 
we're gonna yeah for I, sure I, honestly like yeah i'm not i don't think i'll ever like talk about like names and stuff I'm not no don't talk about names no 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 but i'm just saying like in case you wanted to go to the police you have yeah. evidence of his face yeah perfect so, yeah. <laughs> we love social media bro or just the technology in front of news cameras that all this was going on too so there, i'm sure that i could contact a news media source and they'll have like, a video of everything so yeah. it's that's wild. true the, you can just hire a lab just fyi like that's, that's what the know. police do um the police don't have like their whole little you know, it's not like Detect CSI, like, like like how like how it is on TV. Like they actually send it out to a yeah. physical lab, and then the lab takes X, Y, and Z days. So then you just have to send it to the lab. Okay. But also, if you probably involved the police, the police would more than likely send that document to the lab. But it would have to actually have they a larger claim from that. More or less, told me to go fuck myself. They do. I, it it has to have a larger claim to it in yeah. order for it to. It has to, you have to basically make relevance to it, yeah. make it go viral, then they'll take it. But more for serious. your own sake, you could go get to the lab and get the evidence. Exactly. And, and then, be like, then I can go. You guys that. suck. Those are your options. <laughs> you guys suck. <laughs> exactly. Or you can always make friends with On somebody. a more <laughs> exciting note, it was just Christina's birthday. Happy birthday. Yes. Yeah. What did you do for your birthday? I had a yacht with some of I actually did a, a girl's day. On oh, yeah. You did me. Sorry, I couldn't make it. I was on a family trip. And oh, no, you're good. Where was good. I? And we did Atlantic a, City. We did do a little. Uh, OF live stream. It was fun. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. Smart. That's a great place for OF live stream. Love yeah, that. That, that is good. So how old did you turn? Or do you not tell the internet that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't tell the internet my age, so you're cool old enough. <laughs> <laughs> we like that answer. Guys like that answer. <laughs> um, Raquel, you want to go ahead with one of the questions? Um, I'm gonna finish this Jello shot. It's been sitting here since it's now liquid. <laughs> that long. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This one's a good one. <laughs> so, are you familiar with the day June 18th, 2018? Obviously, I would imagine. Yes. Right. Yeah. Right. That's the day that yeah. unfortunately XXX passed away. Mm -hmm. And um, I just, I don't know. I just. What do you do when things like this kind of like occur, you know, like when times like that come around? Because it's so close to your birthday. That kind of sucks, you know? You know, actually, um, I've never talked about this publicly or anything, but the last... I'm sorry, I forgot to ask. I, oh, no, that's I apologize. Honest. I hope you don't mind. Um, the last time I actually saw him was on my birthday. Wow. No way. Of course, because that makes In sense. In 2018. Yeah. Oh, my God, I just got goosebumps. Me too, obviously. <laughs> oh that was in the energy field of the room. That was crazy. <laughs> I actually feel it. That's wild. So what did you guys do? Um, I went over to get some footage of the studio that we had just... I, I was doing uh, construction at the time. Right. And we had just finished doing his studio. And I was going to get some footage of it. And, yeah. And, and what, when was... So that, that was 10 days before he passed? Yeah. That's so sad. Let's take, a moment. Let's take a moment of silence. We, yeah. we, I feel like He's when you said that. That, was, that was random. That was a sign. <laughs> was there someone there? Okay, that was so weird. I was like, there's a ghost now. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I don't... I was like, there's a ghost. Uh, we call uh, the ghost. <laughs> that was... That was, <laughs> <laughs> that was weird timing. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. That was like a commemorate me, like. No, rest I, in I, that, that was. was that, me too. Absolutely. I do too. I, I think things like, sometimes when things like that happen, I really feel like that was like a like commemorate me. Like, He's probably and that's why I wanted to bring it up. Like, hey, girl, so I feel like his you. energy is still here beyond just the music. I know? do. I, he he was very very. He was raw. He was extremely sick. intelligent in a lot of different categories. Yeah. like in a lot of like, yeah, he was amazing. I didn't know him personally, but. I'm a fan of him, and that's why I brought it up because I know that you're you know him really well, and I just I do actually think that all artists are extremely intelligent, and they have this like thing about them where I personally could never do it. I don't know, like where they just make a song sound really amazing. It's bizarre to me. I can't get past it, and I admire people like that just the same way as I admire like you. I didn't know you were actually a really good guitar player, yeah, but I just think that's sings, so sick. She's like, <laughs> she does it yeah, all. Yeah, I didn't know any of that stuff, so that's actually really cool, and 
It sucks. I just like to. It sucks that I didn't listen to his music before he passed away, but then once he passed away, oh, I did. Then I started listening <laughs> to his music, and I was like, "Oh my god, this is fire! This sucks that he doesn't live anymore because I'm now his fan." Yeah, he's never so amazing. No, I've never so cool. Said it. I don't think I've said this on a podcast before, but I would have to say, like, a lot of the reason that I'm even here right now is because of the energy and the impact he had on my life. Like, wow, wow, like seeing him at his young age, what he accomplished and the way that he was just so humble and amazing. It was like, I don't know. It just, and, and seeing the way that everything just blew up that like, it, it was just inspiring. Like mm -hmm. his energy, his, just his presence. Like, I don't know how to explain him as a person, but he was, he was different. Mm -hmm. Like he was somebody like while I was doing studios and I was building them for a lot of people at the time. Um, everybody would always ask who's, who's your favorite studio that you've done every time. Jesse. And that was before he passed, too. Like, just something about his energy was just, he was, he was just a remarkable human. Like, just so genuinely caring. I love that. It's uh, so cool <laughs> to hear somebody that actually knows him, like, say something like that. So thank you for feeling comfortable on here. And I apologize for, like, throwing it out there on you. But I just, I'm such a fan that I kind of fangirled in a second, for a second. So I really apologize. And there's, like, energy in the And if you guys are new here, you don't know who we're talking about. We're talking about XXS. I don't know how to say his real name. But you know XXX Tentacion. Okay. I will say, too, one of the craziest things to me was the fact that I met him, I think, like, the day after he dyed his hair blue, which for him was a symbolism of starting new mm -hmm. and I didn't know about his past I didn't really know about him personally and I got to know blue haired Jose and then after I knew him I started hearing about his past and it was shocking to me because that wasn't the same person it was a totally totally different person I think that people, I think it's weird when people are like, people don't change. I really truly believe that people can change. We're all changing every day. I think every so. single thing that goes on into your life or happens to you, that changes you like yeah. immediately. Every single decision you have, you have the ability to level up or to digress. Mm -hmm. And we're always changing. And, and life's always, it's a cycle. And it's always. Did you ever have a moving. chance to go in the studio with him? Or, like, create music um, or anything? I mean, I was in the studio when he was, like, playing back music and stuff. And, and I got to hear Question Mark, like, because it was on repeat at the house, like, before it came out. And so it was kind of cool. Like, and again, I didn't even know about his music, really, before <laughs> I was working with him. So I didn't even know what was new music, what was old music. Right. Really. But I remember he would play Moonlight all the time. And I love sad that song. That's my favorite. I was like, oh, these, these are hits. I like, love that song. Favorite. And there's one, too. It's like a Spanish song that I heard. I was like, okay, I fuck with this guy. I don't, I don't Wait, what's that Spanish? Spanish oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, <laughs> I love that one. I, and actually, <laughs> since knowing him, I've met every single person on that song. And, like, from Wait, production who's to, to all the artists, they're all amazing. Mm. Wait, that's so funny because that's literally me. I don't speak Spanish, LOL. I live in <laughs> fucking Miami. Spanglish. 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 <laughs> Wait, what is he speaking Spanish? Spanish? It, it's, it's, Sp it's a Spanglish song. Spanglish. It's like a little English, a little Spanish, you know? Yeah, we love that. I don't know if this is going to get copyrighted, so I'm just going to end it. <laughs> yeah. Yo, and that was before Despacito, wasn't it? Yes, I it was. I think so, yeah. It was. It was. That it was like right before wild, I think. right? He inspired a lot of stuff that I don't think he gets credit Wait, for. What like from the scene, like the behind the scenes, I then see. Oh, like, there was, yeah, because you know what? It's funny that you mentioned that. That is it after. weird that you said that because prior to that, it was more just reggaeton, reggaeton, reggaeton stuff. And then it became to be this like a mass version yeah, of Spanglish. Spanglish and, and to be art rappers with Spanish mixing together. And for the song title to even be. I don't speak Spanish at yeah. all. Like, that's crazy. Which is a great song title. Yeah, I can't find the year. Oh, 2018, it came out. Um, and then uh, Despa. Cito came out. 2017. It was oh, before. Just, just kidding. No, yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> but, you know, it was really All right, so I lied, but. Uh, <laughs> That part anyway, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Next topic. <laughs> Are we narcissistic for not wanting to be wrong on public? <laughs> all, right, all right, whatever. We don't, we don't care about the dates. We're not cutting that because <laughs> that's a great clip. <laughs> um, wait, one second. Is the air conditioning turned off? 
I just, I feel like I heard it turn off and then it's getting like hotter. Uh, but I, I also just took a jello shot. So. <laughs> that's, that's what I was thinking. That's the reason why you're asking that question. <laughs> Okay, I apologize so, if I made you uncomfortable. I wasn't trying to. I just I thought she was oh, doing she was doing like fine. research before we were doing this stuff. So she was just like writing things down. And, oh, you're yeah. fine. It's definitely it. it, it yeah, definitely it's on your Instagram. It's, it's on your like, Instagram. <laughs> it's definitely one of those topics where I just kind of like. I mean, <laughs> I get it. I, I get emotional like thinking of about course. that, and especially I think just being so close to the 18th. And I it's, it was two days ago, so that's yeah, why no, it, it's definitely emotional unfortunately it was it. relevant yeah. for me. No, no, you're you're fine. You're fine. Okay, so I, honestly, like I I think all of that's perfectly fine to put out there. Like, if I had a problem with any of it, I'd tell you. But yeah, like, thanks. I think everything I said, I was thinking like, if his mom watched it, because she will. I'm like, well, let me not like talk about too too much. But right. like, let me just, just yeah. And then I don't the knock like on to, the window. Yeah. Honestly, that knock on the window was like a. Did you feel the energy okay. in the chain yes. in the room change a little yes, bit? I don't know course. if anybody felt it, I but I felt it. Just weird. I don't know how to explain to you the fact that I feel like he. Is around you all the time? Yeah. Like, like That's anytime he gets brought up, something weird happens and it's around, like. Do you call yourself a content creator or a model? I call myself a creative. And it doesn't really have to be the typical, like, video content. It can be music. It could, I just, it could be building a studio at this point. I just, I love being creative and it doesn't really have to be any kind of specific outlet. So. Mm. Have you ever faked an orgasm? <laughs> <laughs> oh, have I? <laughs> yeah, I've done that a couple times. I have to tell you my favorite fake orgasm story, though. Yeah, <laughs> please. You know what? Orgasm story. All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna have to get up for this one. <laughs> I was I was at the club right, and I'm giving the guy a lap dance. I was like on a on a couch. It was in it was in a champagne room, and this is at like maybe like knife. four in the morning. I don't know how I got this guy to stay up there for like four hours, but he did. And so I'm half asleep, and I could go to sleep like this. I'm like asleep, right? Yeah. Asleep. And then the guy like nudges me because I think he realized I was asleep at a certain yeah. point. No worries, man. He was kind of asleep. I was, we were both kind of tired. Like yeah. he was drunk. Yeah. I was taking water shots, so I was yeah. just tired. But um, <laughs> I was taking water shots. And it's four o'clock in the morning. So, <laughs> it's exhausting. So I finally like let me let me interact with the guy a little bit. Like he did. He has spent like eight thousand dollars so wow. far, probably. Yeah. So I get up like this. I'm giving him a regular dance. I'm like, you know, I'm like, I'm right here. And then I fall asleep. <laughs> no way! And I, I, I headbutt him. Headbutt the guy. And I came back, and the guy is looking at me. I'm looking at him. I'm like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Process. She said to herself, "Let me fake an orgasm right now." I was right like, now. "I can't have this guy I think I fell asleep and hit him in the head. I gotta at least like let him go home, and be like the bitch came on me and like she hit me in the head. She came on me. Yeah. She's coming so hard. Like at least you know, like you really are. A creative. You, you yeah, she <laughs> really is a creator. That was great. oh man, that was great. <laughs> Dedicated to the job. Um, I love that for my you. Next question <laughs> is." Is your craziest celebrity encounter? I've had a couple, a couple crazy ones, but I think my favorite crazy one would have to be, you know, Nala. Yeah. Yeah. It was her birthday, and Wait, we were. Halloween. Uh, oh, no, her no, no, her birthday is yeah. December third, December third or second. Oh, I think it's the third second. Yeah. yeah, I think it's the third though. But it's it was Nala's birthday. And we, we, I got her a table at Scarlet's. So we were at the strip club, and she had rented a red Lamborghini Urus, and she was drunk. And I was like, "I'll drive." So always so, designated I was driver. Like, Permanent DD baby. So I was like, "Let me drive." So I decided, you know, it's gonna be a fun drive. The only thing with this car was it would shut off at a hundred. I think one hundred ten miles per hour. The car would shut off. I know. I mean, like shut off, but. And so that happened one time, but I was like, all right, we need to like, so we get on 95 from Scarlet's and we're driving back to the hotel we were staying at the Aqualina and 
we <laughs> are like swerving. She's in the back seat with a guy, and they're fucking in the back seat. <laughs> Uh, I was actually I I do have the videos I, so I was recording she's in the backseat fucking a guy and I'm like yo what the fuck <laughs> uh, and we pull up at the Aqualina and she's still fucking the guy in the backseat and I'm like yo valet's walking over what are you guys doing? and I'm topless because I was taking videos too, so, so we all the, the guy's naked it was, it was bad so we pull up Miami. and they're used to it she gets out of the car naked, but it, it was like really, it was like 3 a.m. or something. But she gets out re- like really quickly, like throws something on. I get out, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> the ballet guy's like, what the fuck? Was we look over and we see future like this. <laughs> That's amazing. And I mean, I don't, I, I, I. I would imagine that too, because we pulled up probably going like eighty, like sl- like I was just driving crazy. We were just having a good yeah. time. I don't know, it was, it was crazy. But uh, <laughs> so he he's like looking at us like no fucking way. And then uh, two like days jackpot. two days later at a different hotel, I pull up and it, I look over and he's there again. Well, isn't that In the weird? Exact same spot. I looked Things at him. Like I said, "Yo, you, you stalking me?" me? <laughs> 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 he, he he was laughing. He was like, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> that's funny I, it's so weird when things like that happen because I've actually experienced weird things like that too I know exactly what you're talking about where it's like two days later completely separate opposite get them out of my damn way <laughs> fuck your ch- cheap cups plastic cups <laughs> Cups. You gotta get glass cups. So at least, like, if you do get mad and you want to throw it, ah, it's not huzzah! like. Ting, ting, ting. <laughs> you know, in the Russians, Shatter. they huzzah. Did you ever see that? I don't know no. if you know that, but yeah. Russians, they throw things and they go huzzah. Are you Russian? No, it, I just really appreciate. I appreciate I them. <laughs> I did. I mean, kind of a little bit, I, it, but not Russian. It's like another form of Russian, but it's very close to Russia. Anyways, it doesn't matter. It's do irrelevant. you want to tell us your other story? You said you had two good ones, or you had a couple good ones. I'm trying to think if I can. It's funny because we actually ran into each other after the future concert. We did. We did. Like recently. We did. And then I ran into my friend and ended up mobbing the whole night and went to. What's mobbing? Sleeping? Uh, Like. Money. Like we just went crazy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I we think were, we were bowling. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Like, I feel like we went from like one place, another place, another place to the strip club, probably. Oh, know. mobbing like that. I yeah, get yeah, it. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. It was like the same group of people. Like everyone was backstage at Feature, and then everybody went to the this restaurant. I'm not giving people free clout. You got to pay for that shit. Just like how you got snake us pay for the shit at years. Anyways, and then we went. We all went to like the club together, and then I kind of left the club because I was like, "This is too many people for me." Yeah. That's yeah. I left after the club too. I was. I I I'll go out and have a good time, but I also really I, I love I'm not my sleep. Really about the night. I like getting up early more than staying out late. I feel that. I'm like I don't want to be hungover. I want to make it to the gym. My dog needs to get walked. <laughs> okay, we are gonna go to our. Would you rather? segment let's go would you rather have a gay son or a thought daughter both thought gay son was even better <laughs> i would love to have a thought gay son like that yeah. would literally that's like super into fashion entertain <laughs> me please style your mommy yeah no facts <laughs> Or if you're just a gay person that wants to be friends, <laughs> sign in the DMs because I'm looking for, like, to collectively grow my gay friends because they're just so cool. My but Uber driver like, today was gay. What? And he's like, oh, my God, you're gorgeous. You should meet my sister. You She's amazing. She's an influencer and blah, 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 blah. And da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. Okay, wait. Let's hang out with them. Yeah. I got you. Porn or foreplay? Foreplay. Okay. Love that. <laughs> Rappers or athletes? Mm, probably athlete. Because they can like lift you up and shit, right? I'm an athlete. I, like, like, like an athletic rapper could work, but like, you got to be athletic. <laughs> like, 
You know, oh, I, I, no, I, that, that one's off limits for me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> Either way, that's off limits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> never mind. Just kidding. <laughs> Long story. <laughs> Clearly, I feel like they are like way closer than I did. I didn't even know this. Like they literally have so many stories that I feel <laughs> out of the loop on every single. We, we, we know a lot of the same people. <laughs> We've known each other for like kind of a minute. Yeah, it yeah. has been like two two and a half years. Yeah. yeah, that's lit. I love that. What's your gas station order? Gas station order. When you go into the gas station, what do you grab? A, I, drive, I drive a Tesla. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what it was like going to a gas station. <laughs> um, Fiji or Evian water, <laughs> probably. <laughs> I'm very picky. <laughs> Same. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so hard to find a good water. Or if um, there's a glass, like the glass. spring water. I like the, the spring one, yeah. the silver. Apple that one's mm. good, but also silver mountains. That, the yep, green one. Yep, that's, that's a great favorite. one. Mine too. Uh, this is not a would you rather, but I think it's kind of funny and I'd like to know your answer because I feel like it's going to be okay. creative. Okay. So what would you name, if you had to name your vagina after a movie, what would it be? Home Alone. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Clever. <laughs> Great. I mean, is he cooking on like a Viking stove or is he cooking <laughs> on a conventional <laughs> stovetop oven? <laughs> These are important questions. <laughs> versus like taking you out. You know what? Only rich guys have offered to cook for me really? first. Yeah, actually. So I'm going to say no. Oh, for me, it hasn't been like that. <laughs> I mean, not all of them, but like <laughs> only only the rich ones have offered to cook. So, what do you think is the best way to ask someone if you're exclusive with them, like if you're like seeing them for a while? So, what the fuck are we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. It's very improv, straight to the point. I think I think it's a great answer because you really should just get straight to the point. <laughs> what the fuck are we? It's that simple. I used to be like. So, do you want to stop wearing condoms? Cause <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you you trap them? <laughs> that sounds like entrapment. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the condoms are going to be like great. You're like, there's a hundred percent chance you don't want to wear this shit, and I want a man. Fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> We're gonna pull the card. <laughs> No, that makes sense. <laughs> I'm ready for would you rather now. Okay. If you are. You go ahead first. Okay, perfect. <laughs> would you rather have an orgasm every single time you enter the grocery store <laughs> or never orgasm during sex ever again? I'll, I'll fucking orgasm out of Whole Foods. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> every single time you go to the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> the produce section looks so fresh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you tried <laughs> The vegan stuff yet over there. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go for that one for sure. <laughs> Clever. <laughs> okay, would you rather sleep with someone you think is disgusting, but the sex is off the charts, or sleep with a person you find extremely hot, but the sex sucks? Mm. I, I got to be attracted to the person. Yeah, we're going to go for bad sex, but at least I'm attracted. Because the sex couldn't be good if I wasn't attracted. Yeah. It just couldn't. So I, I don't know if that's even, I'm a fair candidate for that question. <laughs> <laughs> good answer. <laughs> 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 Would you rather orgasm 150 times a day or never have orgasm ever again? That's a lot of times a day. Where do I sign up? <laughs> <laughs> is there somewhere that we can make this happen? <laughs> Why is this a would you rather? Like, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 okay.
okay, would you rather masturbate until your clit is completely raw? <laughs> <laughs> so it's this app and like you get money from guys on it and (laughs) (laughs) clever (laughs) and you always hold your phone by your pussy (laughs) (laughs) done (laughs) okay so here's the thing and you forgot your vibrator. There is an app. They make sure vibrator phone. that turns your phone into a vibrator. And I have been desperate enough. To <laughs> try, especially in Thailand, because I didn't. Know what the I don't use a vibrator ever. Oh, I do all the time. I. Can you use a dildo? Oh. I'm I'm old school with it, and that's and that's, <laughs> and that's why we're in a relationship. Drop it around or no. part of my body. That's a, That's so interesting because I was literally going to say, how many sex toys do you own? That was I, a question of mine at one point. You know what? Okay, I do have sex toys, and I I'll use them like here and there, mostly if I'm like doing like a video or something. Mm-hmm. But like, m- personally, if I'm really like, I'll take one too. Or you want to sit? Do you have any you have left? I'll take three. Two. Oh, three or four. <laughs> um, but yeah, I I don't really use them too much if I'm not doing a video. I'm I'm more about my hand, I guess. I don't know. I feel that. It's more like meditative. <laughs> right. Would you rather spit for the rest of your life or swallow for the rest of your life? Um, I'm going to go with swallow. Spitting. Yeah, for someone that's really careful with what spit, in their body, spitting, you, you well, don't know what's in their swear. If you get to know them first and you... <laughs> Put them on a strict diet, then well, you do not. Make sure they drink 10 ounces of pineapple juice every day. <laughs> and you wait seven years for all their cells to uh, replicate into, like, Pretty new. Good. Yeah, then then this is hopeless, isn't it? <laughs> He's out there somewhere. You'll find him through the computer because slaps. <laughs> He'll slap me, and I'll be like, Daddy? Oh. <laughs> okay. This is all about uh, orgasms. Would you rather be kissed and licked all over your body, but never on the mouth, or only be kissed and licked on the mouth? <laughs> you know what? Ah, that sucks. That one sucks, but I'm going to have to say mouth. I can't, like, not kiss somebody. Yeah. I don't know. If I was with, yeah, it's going to have to be mouth. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> so, so the rest of my life, no, nowhere else. Damn. All right, I gotta finish the one That's that I was gonna go with because every single one was these were these were getting really good because I kept trying to get you on the orgasm ones. So, would you rather masturbate until your clit is completely raw? You were already asked for that. I didn't finish we didn't, it. We never finished oh, this one. Okay, okay, sorry. I, I, I'm still waiting to hear what. Thank you. What could be worse than that? Go ahead. Go ahead. I can't get this fucking so, question so out. So Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is going on in the world? <laughs> what else is going to happen to my clit? <laughs> <laughs> is, this, is somebody trying to tell me not to ask this question? <laughs> All right, are you ready? Would you rather? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> Would you rather masturbate? Yes. Until your clit oh. is completely raw. Or would no. you never, <laughs> or would you rather never be a, ever, like, why can't yeah, I ask you? Get the fuck out. It's your own problem now. <laughs> I know. Because I'm so distracted by everything that it's fucked me up. So would you, forgiven. yeah, would you rather. <laughs> masturbate till my clit's raw or. <laughs> yeah. Masturbate till your clit's raw or never be allowed to touch your clit again. Jesus. Damn, I'm sorry, girlfriend. You're going to be wrong. <laughs> right? <laughs> I can never forget you. <laughs> <laughs> That's <I> good. <laughs> that was a good answer. Thank you. Would you rather not be able to use your hands during sex or not see during sex? <laughs> In the past, I'm going to go with C, but like I'd hopefully have. <laughs> <laughs> Not every time, but like a couple of times. <laughs> I turn off the lights. 
like turn off those lights um, every time. You know, if I could cut my hands off, that's a lot less work for me. <laughs> However, oh my God, imagine how long it would take to give a blow job with no hands. No hands. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Um, I used to do that when I was younger. I didn't know. <laughs> No, you didn't. You Until just... Caller Daddy came out, she taught us about the clock clock. <gasps> or they. I think I just naturally just knew to do that. The clock clock? Yeah. I yeah. It was just it just kind of made sense. I'm a uh, I'm a like larger. Like... <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> just giving you some whiplash. <laughs> But still, regardless, like it doesn't matter. Blowjobs in general, I don't know. It's just not something that I wouldn't. Have not implemented at You're some a point. Gal? I am a blowjob kind of gal. Would you, ra- would you just give some? Would you rather? <laughs> would you rather give blowjobs for the rest of your life and have no sex, or have no? <laughs> <laughs> I'll choose sex still. <laughs> it was a blow. Wait, why do you call her that? Oh, you don't know. <laughs> You know they say that people that like to eat are really good like blowjob givers. I love to eat because like they I'm just know how to. <laughs> yeah, because they know how to like. They, I think I like giving head more than a blow. Like I, I, I like giving a girl head more than giving a head to a guy. Though I will say. Interesting. Do you, like, I've never. You know what else? Soul? Do you look at their soul? I mean, that, I feel like that's like more of like a, a blowjob thing. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, sure. Eyes. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, sometimes, but I, definitely with a guy, yeah, you gotta like look up because they're pulling your hair and you're just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it out. Well, would you rather pay to have sex or be paid to have sex? <laughs> do I want to trick or, do you or be with a trick? <laughs> Man. It ain't tricking if you ain't got it. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> or no, it ain't tricking if you got it. That's, that's that wrong. <laughs> I can proudly say I've never been paid for sex in my life. So you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with uh, yeah. You'll pay someone. To fuck? Yeah, I guess. I'd rather pay too. Yeah, because then I'm trying to think of. What it'd be like to even have that experience with somebody I'm like? like can we just have sex for free with each other? <laughs> Listen, you know what? Honestly, it's how guys do with with women. It's like you go on a date, they buy you dinner, and then immediately expect to have sex. So like maybe they just give you a tip along with the waitress. It's like, here, baby, this is for your time and troubles. This is for you. <laughs> and I never forgot that because I think it's so brilliant. Like you pay them to leave, and that's amazing. Like, right? Like, you pay for a service, and then you're like, okay, thank you so much. It was a pleasure meeting you. Have a great day. If I was a rich dude, I would... 100%. Would hire I, I get it. I'd say they're paying them to come a little bit more than paying them to leave. Right. <laughs> 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 that was a good one. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> would you rather get spanked every single time you have sex or have your hair pulled really fucking hard every time you have sex? Like, am I losing chunks of hair or? Because, <laughs> like, both. Yeah, both. <laughs> can you, like, beat me? Can you, sex? like, both are requirements? <laughs> can, do you have another hand to choke me with? <laughs> both at the same time. D, all of the above. <laughs> Bring your life. Let's make both cheeks pull hair everywhere. I don't know. <laughs> Would you rather fart every time you come or <laughs> have a really intense bloody nose? Every time I come? Yeah. Either you have a really intense bloody nose every time you come or you have or you just fart every just time trying you come. To, like I would I would never be allowed to or not allowed. I would never allow myself to come during a head if it was the first option. So <laughs> honestly, a Wait, bloody nose. <laughs> Sorry. Hello. Okay, well, it's working. She's good at pulling out, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and putting it back in. <laughs> you were finishing uh, bloody noses and I'm coming. I'm, yeah. Apologize. I, w- I would have to go with the, the, the bloody nose, I think. 
I wouldn't want to do that to somebody. <laughs> no farts. <laughs> Every time, like, <laughs> while they're cleaning up, I'll go clean up too, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that every time you fart, you shart? What? Uh, do you? <laughs> Are you good? I don't. Because <laughs> I'm going to say good. absolutely not. <laughs> I, <I'm laughs> I just realized I set myself up for <laughs> I have farted once and I sharted, so it is what it is. I didn't mean to, obviously, I mean, but it's happened because I had like that. It was in Mexico, in Tulum. That's a long yeah. story. She got Montezuma's revenge. <laughs> Wait, but you said every time. Has it happened every time since? That's fair. I haven't done it recently, but I did think about it. Like, do you think that? Yeah, I guess that makes it. But like a small portion of it, you know? Sometimes when I sneeze, I pee a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should try some like you. What, not you, Terry, and oh. the bladder, the bladder exercises. Oh, wait, oh, I thought you meant Kegels. I thought you meant That's that too. That's a pussy exercise. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know anything about Kegel exercise. I didn't know anything about uterus. Or, or I mean, yeah, that one. You, you know, we have like two holes down there. <laughs> Do three, we? Three, three. <laughs> no way! <laughs> Please educate us. How many holes do girls have? <laughs> The eyeballs? No way. Wait, the eyeballs have it's a hole. hole. It's kind of a hole. Yeah. You no, know, it's a plugged hole. We'll yeah, it's plugged. plugged. <laughs> we got one, two, three. <laughs> one, two, three. And then the hole in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> I am dead. <laughs> oh, God. Um, okay, I think that's enough for Would You Rather, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay, so I have two Pretend. questions. How much... Money is enough money, do you think, in your opinion? Is l enough money to where I can have the experiences that I want to have? I would say, that for me, I'm not really thinking in, like, I never really think of it, it, in life in a monetary sense. I think more, like, stuff I want to do right. while I'm here because we're only here for so long. So I'm just always thinking, like, oh, my God, I want to get this so that I can be able to do this or that or, I don't know, I'm... Here for a short time, not a long time, right? Yep. So yeah, I, would, I, I would definitely time. say uh, probably $100 million would do to answer your Fuck question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything in particular that is like goals, like you really want to, you want to do this first or you want to do this at some point before? You know, actually, what I really, do go. really want to do um, – I want to climb Mount Everest. <laughs> like, that's sick. Ooh, I actually. That's feel like that's Everest. something you would do. Um, that's awesome. And I'm gonna be meeting Wim Hof this coming month, I believe. Sick. So wow. I'm pretty excited about that. And he's done it with no oxygen tank, wearing shorts and boots. And what? Yeah. And that's unheard of. Well, to climb Mount Everest. It's actually not because when they told him he was a medical miracle, he was like, "No, I just figured out how to." Breathe, breathe this and that and, and yeah. trained and did this and he took regular people and trained them and then they did the same thing and so i would love to be able to dedicate that kind of time to my to myself you could do it for work sure and everything yeah mountain. i don't know if i'll do it fully just shorts and boots but i would, I would love to i think that's like a, probably my craziest bucket list item i think that i have well, you got to record that shit because I want to watch the whole thing. Just the whole thing. The whole right here, Mount Everest. Even the, the even the like the process of you preparing for it. You know. Yeah. No. I definitely. There's no way I would do that without. Just, yeah. Just, <laughs> just, clout and next content. Next time I'll film it. <laughs> Actually, that would make sense. But I think no. At that point, like, yeah, it's a little. Yeah. But then you got to find the people to go up to that can film it. How? Who are you gonna ask? Kiss or are you gonna ask Kiss or Slap to the other hikers? Kiss or slap on Mount Everest? It's like kind of easy to do a kiss or slap because I won't feel anything and my whole face will be <laughs> frozen. So it'll be like either like ice touching for a kiss or just you just like shatter the ice off my face. Ouch. <laughs> God, ice is so painful that I felt that when you said that. I don't know why. <laughs> In a weird way. Um, do you have any projects coming up or anything that you want to let us know about, let your fans know about? There is some music on the way. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. Is there a drop date you want to um, promote it? There's different projects. Uh, 
one that that that's coming out soon is a song that I co-produced with my friend Bay Santana and Magnut is singing and she wrote so fire got that one coming out soon that's Actually, sick really soon we've got the um the music video what's the date getting it's shot. the 20th right now yeah we got uh drew filmed it's doing the music video so sick. can't wait to see it's it then that's amazing. really cool and hear it yeah same fire Thanks. and our next collabs <laughs> and that you know honestly i don't want to like talk about it like on here because like <laughs> i'm just gonna get so excited i know i'm like getting so wet just thinking about it right now I want a human we centipede over here. <laughs> well, we could set that up for you. Thanks. <laughs> a couple more girls. No. <laughs> Thanks for coming on the pod, Christina. Absolutely. We love you. Thank you for having me. This was fun. This was Thanks fun. for being so open and sorry for getting awkward on many occasions. <laughs> no, you're <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. Love you. Bye. <laughs> you want to tell him or should I tell him? <laughs> <laughs> I did have tequila <laughs> earlier, <laughs> though. Hey, does it, look con- it looks convincing, though. She I, does I, I spilled it. <laughs> she doesn't drink. You know what? If that was alcohol, I wouldn't have spilled it, but it was water, so I jerked it back. I, I, I feel you did, you. did you jerk it? What do you <laughs> you like set to- yourself up for that one. I was going to say, what do you like to know? But you, you do know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, I know. Y'all can no. find out. For somebody that doesn't drink, you yeah. would yeah. probably be pretty I was, sure. I was dead 